And as Kerbals drift through the night sky above the blue, one can only assume that the moon is fated to be not only landed upon, but a flag stuck firmly in the soil. Should we be doing this? What horrors might there be out in the cosmos? There's only one way to know. Join me in Kerbal. Okay, I believe I have um, an air, uh, a craft that's able to orbit the moon already. Uh, the Lunar Spy. Yes, okay. So, we've got all of our scientific materials aboard. Okay, what is our... So our TWR is entirely too high, of course, but that's okay. Um, the problem is, is we have to sort out a lander of some kind. We need a lander of some sort. You know what I mean? So, I have to... Sort of rethink how this is going to go. Let's, let's pretend I was to slap this onto here. Right? But two of them, though. You know what I mean? And what if I was to put fuel tanks here with legs and stuff? Um, if we slapped fuel tanks onto there with nose cones, obviously, we want them to be aerodynamically stable. If we took fuel rods from this tank to the engine tank, right? So that gets us more fuel to get home, obviously. Um, we can punch those off when they're expended. Yeah. Okay, legs are kind of a requirement. We need legs. Uh, shoot. They have to be much further down. I don't like that. Because these have to be much further down for the engine. The engine's here. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know if I like the idea of such a tall craft trying to make it down to the ground. Do you know what I mean? Because it's very tall. It's very top-heavy. Huh. I may have to abandon the Science Junior. And by may have to, I mean we're going to have to. Okay, if we get rid of the Science Junior... That really makes things a lot easier for us. Then we can do exactly what we said we were going to do. Okay, are we cool now? Yes, we're cool now. Okay. Now, all right, with any luck, this thing is going to get us to the moon. And we're going to land on it and learn stuff. All righty roo SAS to, f to on, not maximum. Fuel to maximum. And let's hope this thing doesn't fly too much like a brick. How about that? Let's go. Alright, we are beginning to fly through the air with the greatest of ease. Alright, she's not too difficult to steer. She's lethargic, but that's okay. I'd rather her be too slow to react than too quick. Alright, she is really, really difficult to handle right now. She's requiring inputs in pretty much every single direction, which is not fun. And I'm not paying attention to anything because I'm, I'm too busy trying to steer it, which is annoying. It'd be nice to have a full crew of astronauts to do this crap for you. You know what I mean? That would be very handy, I think. Pop that. Punch those. Okay. Try to get back on the straight and narrow here. 65 is our apoapsis currently. 70 and 72. Okay. Oof, that wasn't easy. This thing kicks like a mule. Not fun. Okay, now it's a matter of getting ourselves to the moon. Uh, do I have access to maneuvering points and crap yet? Uh, oh, I do. Good. That's, that's a bonus. Because last time I had to just eyeball it, and that wasn't fun. <laughs> it was, I did it, but it was not fun. All right. This is a difficult orbit to maintain because this ship is very twisty. It wants to twist in pretty much every which way. I should have fired the engine a little bit sooner, but uh, unfortunately, I'm uh, not particularly not particularly skilled at this. Um, 
think I want to slow down though, right? I don't want to reach my apoapsis. I don't want to see. I don't know what to do. Like, how do you make it? Um, oh, to hell with it. Back to brute force. Screw it. I obviously don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to like half remember tutorials about not reaching your apoapsis and garbage like that. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm not super, super good with that. It's, it's not, uh, not particularly easy for me. So yeah, we're just going to burn excesses amounts of fuel. All right, 40, 60, whoa! Well, that whipped around a lot faster than I thought it would. Jeez. Okay. Alrighty, we are on a pretty good trajectory, honestly. That's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Okay. We, we are going to be able to make it to the moon, I think, with not, uh, not too much trouble. Cool. So obviously the smart thing would be to whip back around the planet to our periapsis um, and then increase our, our uh, apoapsis to the moon. So we're going to do that and hopefully we can get ourselves an engagement here, which would be nice. That would be very good, I think. I think I warped too close to it, honestly. Please get out of the way, words. Thank you. So what we're going to do is add some prograde. And we're going to have to change the timing on this by... Oh, hang on. Maybe we won't have to change the timing on this. Where's my... Here we go. Let's turn this down a bit. Let's go a little less. Wow, we have a lot of time to reach our destination, apparently. And a lot of time. That's pretty good, honestly. Um, let's go like this just to give us give ourselves some wiggle room, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we start the burn in 17 seconds, everybody. 17 seconds when we begin the burn. So uh, we're gonna point ourselves at our magical little target guy here. And we're gonna try a. Burn momentarily. All right, hold it there. Hold it there. Come on. All right, burn time of 58 seconds. We're gonna have to punch off this uh, engine to do it, but that's okay. Go. I'm not sure if a lunar landing is in my future currently. Don't know if that's a great idea right now. Five seconds. Let's slow this down. Three, two, one. Kill it. All right, we're off by 0.3, but we have ourselves a pretty good uh, lunar engagement here. It's not bad. We're on a pretty good, uh, like, mm, I'm not sure what the term is, line? That's not the term, obviously, but uh, we're on a pretty good line with that. Let's go for a 25 kilometer orbit here. Let's do that. So we start the burn in six seconds. Sorry, six minutes. Go ahead and... Uh, turn all this crap off for the time being. And we'll just sort of float a wee bit. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Come on, come on. It's really hard. It won't stay put. So kill it there. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's happening. So kill it there. Uh, We got down to 75. Unfortunately, that's what we're going to have to deal with for the time being because all the numbers were in front of each other and I didn't know which number was which anymore. So, I mean, maybe... I orbit and return, yes. I can orbit, 100%. No, I'm terrible at landings. I've landed on the moon twice, three times tops. I'm really, really bad at it. So I'm thinking this is going to turn into an orbit and we've got to revisit this concept with um, more fuel and possibly bigger fuel tanks. We're going to go ahead and put ourselves a maneuver node at the periapsis point and see if we can get ourselves a quick orbit. All right, we can do a crappy orbit there. We could do... All right, 400. That's a significant amount. Let's try to get down at least close to 75. And... You have to be very, very careful what I'm doing with fuel here. Because I'm worried that we're not going to have much. Okay. 
Let's stick with this, I think. At the very least, we'll get this here. Um, we might be able to get some... No, we can't get any scientific data unless we land. Let's see what we got for fuel once we pull off this maneuver, and then we'll... I don't see us landing. I really don't. I don't think I have the fuel. Um... It's a bit of a concern. Electric charge, we got 143 left. So, one assumes that it shouldn't be too, too terrible. Now, let's get ourselves flipped around here. 20, 23 seconds till we begin to burn. Uyaga, 17 seconds. 13 seconds. Eight. Four. Three, two, one. Point five is good enough for me. All right, we have ourselves an orbit. We have completed that one. Okay, we've got roughly two thirds of a tank. Roughly two thirds of a tank. Here's the issue. We are 73 kilometers above the moon. I do not believe that we are going to be able to land and come back. So, I think we're going to have to leave that for a bigger, badder, more impressive rocket. Um, what we do want to do is... I th don't we technically want to escape the moon in this direction? I'm pretty sure we do. Something about that being better somehow. Okay, so if we did that... Say... There... Pretty good there. We at least be in orbit. Be better to have like a full on. Hmm. I think there. Just saw it. Probably. What does the green line mean? I wonder. There wouldn't be terrible. That wouldn't be a terrible thing there. It gets us in orbit. Nine million kilometers, mind you. Twelve second burn. 12 seconds takes us down to about a third. I think I can pull this off. I think I can pull this off. Okay. Let's go to the node. I think I can pull this off. I understand my limitations. I understand my limitations. We will not uh, unduly murder Kerbins if we do not have to. Not a thing we're going to do, I don't think. Get this monstrosity here. Backed up by uh, the Galactic Cluster. Very pretty sight, realistically. I think it's very nice. Whether or not we're going to make it... I think we'll make it home, I really do. But, hey, I've been wrong a couple times. Here and there, before. Once or twice. Maybe even a third time. You know, near the holidays. When everybody's in a little bit of a daze because of the... Ho all the I'm not even going to make that joke. I'm not even going to do it. Nine seconds out from the burn. Twelve second burn. All right. So now we're coming up on our apoapsis. Let's go ahead and throw a maneuver here. Okay. That's too much. Too much. We don't want to be coming in at 30 some odd kilometers. Let's go to 47 kilometers. That's it's going to be not pretty, I don't think, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay. That's done. A periapsis of 69. Nice. But we need less. So let's give it a little more gas. Retrograde. Bring that down under 50. 46. 46 kilometers. That's what we're looking at there. Okay. All right. We're starting to heat up a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and counteract that with some fuel. Got to slow ourselves down a bit. Or we're in a lot of trouble. 3,000, but we're falling. That speed is falling. Good. Um, we are rapidly overheating. I have very serious concerns that we're not going to make it here. Okay, almost out of fuel. That's okay. Um, can I bring that back, please? Alright, we're going to be under to... No, close. There we go. Now we're in, truly in the atmosphere. Now we're destined to reach the ground. Alright, let's go ahead and kill the fuel. Save a little bit if we can. We may have to slow ourselves down more. So far, so good. 
Um, our apoapsis means we're not going to be skipping out into the atmosphere, which is a big plus in my book. I may rotate this slightly just to get a little more evenly distributed. I think we will have to engage the engine again. We're going to find out. I think we're going to be okay. It looks like everything's taking the heat pretty well. It's not terrible so far. Pretty pleased overall with how this went. We will have to punch off this gear before we engage the parachutes, mind you, but that's okay. Our speed relative to the surface is 1,720 and change meters a second, but that is rapidly falling. We are overheating, though. The it's the landing gear. The landing gear, realistically, are, is overheating. It's not that big of a deal. We should slow down exponentially at this point. Uh, we've just lost control. That's very unfortunate. Um, we're going to have to punch off this gear shortly. Uh, I think we can handle the heat for the most part. Let's go ahead and punch that gear now. Flip ourselves back around to retrograde. Use the engine to take the brunt of the heat. We should be pretty solid here. I think we're going to be okay. Okay. Recover the vessel. Excellent. <laughs>